be coming up here on the link at 7.02. Uh, good morning. Uh, let's go ahead and go in with uh, Mr. Castro here. Uh, Mr. Castro, can you hear me? Good morning. Morning. Yes, sir. All right. On. Good. Clear. There you go. So let me get this straight. We're doing a call out here. Are we looking for, for players for basketball? Is that what we're doing? That's correct. Right, right on. Now we're in the process of uh, recruiting for boys and girls. Uh, boys and girls. And then what's the age uh, group for this uh, basketball? Is this, uh, this is a league, uh, Castro? This is actually uh, the biggest game in, in our region, which is uh, the Micro Cup. Uh, it's actually a, 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 a what do you call that a qualifying game to the Pacific game. So, yeah, we want the, the most talented, and skillful, energetic, and uh, boys and girls. And this is this is really an opportunity for our brothers and sisters here, because it's been the the islands that representing uh, our country, and this is one uh, unique uh, unity that we will we will define and show in, in this tournament because we will combine the four states to, to represent the country, uh, FSM. Wow, so this is going to be kind of like dream team of the FSM, right? Ex exactly. Gotcha. Right on. Uh, and so we did pop the flyer up, uh, Castro. Let me just read a little bit of uh, the FSM Basketball Federation recruiting players to represent Team FSM uh, for the upcoming FIBA Micronesia Cup qualifier uh, June 8th to 11th uh, in Hagatnia, Guam. I've been there. Uh, both men's and women's teams will participate. Uh, all athletes must submit an FSM passport and must have not represented any other country in a FIBA league to qualify. Interested individuals uh, may email a copy of passport and birth certificate along with a headshot to fsmbasketballguam at gmail.com or submit documents along with a working Guam contact number at the FSM consulate office in Guam. Uh, located in Harmon, the deadline to submit uh, documents has been moved from March 21st to April 1st, Friday. So what kind of response are you getting, uh, Castro? Uh, so far we have uh, a few. Um, but uh, though we we have some, we have to deal with some uh, eligibility criteria with uh, FIBA Oceania, right. which we are uh, in, 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 in progress with those, trying to secure our, our, our guys and, uh, and the girls that these are especially the ones with the uh, the U.S. passport holders, but uh, have their parents from uh, uh, the FSM. So that's the that's the little challenge we're having with 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 the guys here. And so, the are you are you accepting those players, Castro? Or are you still trying to figure out whether or not uh, people uh, well, second well, generation? We right? we accept them. We accept them okay. as they are, but uh, we have to go through the FIBA regulations, eligible the criteria, and they're the ones who they're the approving bodies. That will allow them to compete in this in this uh, competition. How many players uh, can make the the team? How many players are you looking for? We're looking at twelve. Okay, twelve boys, twelve girls, if possible. And is this uh, is this five on five or or FIBA three on three? Five on five. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, so, and and Castro, I know we got a lot of ballers uh, listening to the show. Um, it's the show of ballers. It's the show that ballers choose. Um, so, what would your message be out there? What kind of ballers are you looking for? I mean, um, I mean, they if they have the blood, so all they have to do is, even though they're holding a U.S. passport, we try to do our best to to allow them to to work with FIBA. To, to allow them to compete in this tournament. And and this is an opportunity. Once they're in, they're in for good. Every FIBA tournament they are, they will be able to, to compete in. Wow. So that's where we are at right now. We're accepting uh, even even our, our brothers and sisters with uh, US passport holders to submit their, their, uh, their documents as Required by FIBA. Right on. And so 12 uh, women, 12 men. We do have some pictures up uh, here too, uh, Castro. Um, and you're looking for those people who meet those uh, eligibility. What about, I meant like types of players. Like what types of players are you looking for? You're looking for like inside players, you know, distance threats, just all around? All around, all around players, most especially because when I play with players from the FSM, it's been a minute, guys. It's been a minute, but I know they like to penetrate and drive. 
right on. <laughs> right, I know. Yeah, they always had me down because I'm Chamorro tall. They're like, you just stay wow. under the basket, and I'm like, dang, bro, why you always got to drive? <laughs> you guys shoot threes or what? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Castro, well, that, yeah. If you could talk a little bit about the so there's regular ball, and then there's the FIBA ball, right? So how would you maybe if people aren't familiar with the FIBA rules? How is it different from just uh, regular, you know, basket? Well, yeah, they they have a set of rules, especially on the eligibility thing. And but uh, I mean, it 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 it, it really different from uh, just just pick up games because uh, they they come out in sets that the, the officials are are more aware of, and you know you, you cannot just do anything because uh, otherwise you'll be penalized. This is not jungle rules, is what yet. he's trying to say. It's not it's not jungle rules. Got you. Yes, sir. Got it. Well, Castro, uh, good luck, man. And so, Thank what you if, so much. if you don't get enough players, are you going to end up putting on a jersey and getting out there? Show these young Why guns. Not? <laughs> Why not, right? You show them how it's done. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. Of course, yeah, man. And uh, we, we will continue to, to reach out. Yeah, it's great. It's a great way to keep kids off the streets, keep them out of trouble, uh, you know, keep them busy with sports. Uh, Castro, is there a phone number maybe that people can call? Uh, six eight nine. Uh, four three one zero, or just the consulate office. Okay, area code six and seven it's on, one. It's on the uh, yeah yeah. Okay, gotcha. Six eight it's nine six seven one six eight nine four three one zero. Yeah, got you. Thank you, Castro. Thank you so much. Hey, my friend, if you end up uh, extending it beyond the April first uh, deadline, make sure you shoot me a text or shoot Vic a text, and we'll get you back on, okay? Yes, sir. We'll do that. Okay, my friend. Take it easy. Okay. Take it easy. Okay, bye. Stay balling. Uh, 709. That's great, guys. Good morning. Uh, Good morning to my Facebook Live audience. Oh, wow. I think we have just seen the first uh, political sign. No mask. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and play. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh... Someone just sent me a picture of a political sign. Let's get this up, sir. It's good. This is the first one I believe that we've seen um, this election. Wow. Uh, okay. What were we doing here? We are doing this uh, joint region Marianas, guys. Guess what? 